Recently, with the advent of robotic surgery, this has been a huge paradigm shift in our field. We have changed our approach for the most part for patients with what we call an adnexal mass or a mass on the ovary. From opening those patients, which we used to do fairly routinely, to starting those surgeries laparoscopically with the robotic platform. And then if the mass is confirmed to be malignant, we can fairly reliably stage that patient and remove all the cancer and procure all the lymph nodes and the omentum and the other tissues we need to obtain for staging without having to subject them to an incision. For the robotic approach to removal of the ovaries, this entails a few key steps. The first of which is typically to access the abdominal cavity. We'll do this through five very small incisions. Two of the incisions are about an inch wide, and those are where the camera goes. That's usually about the level of the belly button or a little bit higher. The second one-inch incision goes typically just below the rib cage, and that's where the surgical assistant works, either to remove the ovary or to provide me with the suture to perform the surgery. And then there are three other small incisions that are about a half inch or so in width, and that's where I place the surgical instrumentation. The second part of the procedure is then bringing the robot up to the bedside, and that's the point at which we actually dock these robotic arms to the ports that have been placed in the patient's abdominal cavity. And then following the robotic docking, we actually place the instruments in the abdomen at this point and guide them down into the pelvis where the ovaries are. We are then essentially taking the blood supply to the ovary. So we dissect out the blood supply, make sure any vital structures that are on the pelvic sidewall are out of the way. And we're usually taking that blood supply with with electrosurgical techniques, what we call bipolar and monopolar cautery. And then depending on whether we're going to do a hysterectomy at the same time or not, we will then proceed on with that portion of the procedure.